the exciting thing of this game is that every time you play, it's completely different. At the first time, you may be focused on animals and pop culture to win the game. The next time, it may be international affairs. It may be escalation. Uh, it's going to change every time you play. Uh, when you bring in new people, the challenges one-on-one -on -one back and forth are going to be different. When you play based on just three triangles as opposed to four or five, uh, the flow of the game is going to be to your liking. The questions and the themes that you're wanting to play against are going to be to your liking. Is it expandable and upgradable? The beauty of this game is that it's completely expandable. The way we designed the five triangle pillars around the board is that we can offer expansion packs based on any number of things. We want to do movies. We could do a complete expansion pack based on the Harry Potter books and movies. So each different triangle represents a different facet of that storyline. And that will bring in a whole new batch of clientele. Uh, we can base it on music. We can do it by decade, by genre. Uh, we can base it on sports teams. Uh, we can release a New York Yankees version of the game or a Boston Red Sox or a Dallas Cowboys. And it just brings in a whole new batch of customers and consumers into our uh, board game and into the fold. Uh, and beyond the triangle expansion, we can offer trivia expansion, different card packs which offers new trivia, new verbal, uh, new verbal cues, new physical challenges new distractions and new escalations within the game. Um, and it doesn't have to stop at the physical. We can uh, get involved on the technology side and create an app where customers can buy an expansion pack straight on their iPhone, on their iPad, or on their Android tablets or phones. Uh, with the click of a button, they can have an entire new trivia set of questions or an entire expansion pack. Uh, Offered along the same lines, uh, based on s certain sort of questions. And that part's not true because we don't do it that way. Um, when we first started brainstorming this game, what I liked about it is that while it's got a few similarities to different things, to what I really liked about this game when we first started designing it is that while there's some similarities to a few different items out there, it pulls together such a wide and diverse set of circumstances. Um, this is the game where you can't only be the brainiac to win, or you can't only be the physical athlete to win. Um, you and your team, you've got to know the trivia. You've got to be able to do physical challenges. Uh, you've got to be able to act out songs and animals and people. Uh, you've got to know cultural, international, U U.S. You've got to know your music. Uh, and you've got to be able to think on your feet. When you get to the distraction, you may know the answer ten times out of ten by yourself. But when someone is shooting you in the face with a water gun, can you pull the answer out of your head? That's what's exciting about it. And that's why it pulls... It needs a diverse team to be able to win this and what makes it so exciting. 